Well, a break-in at a local VFW post has the post commander calling it the lowest of lows. VFW 3631 has hundreds of members and also serves the homeless veterans in Aurora. Our Kelly Worthman got a look at the surveillance video of that break-in. And Kelly, it seems like these suspects knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah, that's pretty much, uh, Michael, what everybody here who works at this VFW is saying. If you take a look here, there are these cameras. They captured those men breaking into the VFW. Those who work here wonder if this was a planned attack because they believe those criminals knew exactly what they wanted and where to go inside. So there's a car you see pulling up there on the right. Watching this security video, Craig R. Curry can't help but be disappointed. For somebody to come in here and do what they did against a place like this is really the lowest of the low. At least three men broke into the Aurora Veterans of Foreign Wars post early Sunday morning using a large crowbar to bust down the door. Took all three of them to get it open. Once inside, the thieves made a beeline for their target. No delay from the front door right to the ATM machine. They didn't look around. They knew exactly exactly what they were going after. It's almost like it was a planned um, event for them when they almost knew where to go. It only took the crooks about four minutes to get what they came for and leave. In that short time, they smashed open an ATM and jukebox, taking what they found inside. They also took one of the post machines that collects donations, a big part of the funding the nonprofit relies on. It's a pretty substantial for us because we're not a big operation here. <laughs> VFW 3631 has a couple hundred veteran members and serves hundreds of homeless vets as well. Craig says these thieves didn't just take from the community, they've hurt those who've served our country. Our whole purpose here is to serve people and serve the community. And, you know, when someone interrupts that, that, that doesn't make any of us happy. He's hopeful now someone will recognize these men and the community will help the Post get back on their feet. If the community is watching and, and has any way to support us, Come on in, buy a drink from our bar. It'll help support us a lot. And the VFW here in Aurora also saying cash donations would be a big support for them right now. And if you have any information, have any idea who those men might be, give Aurora police a call as they are investigating this case. You can also remain anonymous by calling Crime Stoppers. Reporting live in Aurora, I'm Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. Well, don't forget, if you have a story idea in Aurora, contact Kelly. You can call her on our tip line, 303-863-TIPS, or you can email her through cbscolorado.com.